Hello, and today our question is, is consistency a confining box or is it a liber liberating set of practices? That's our question today, and I want you to think about this as we go through the video today. Now, before we go anywhere, we want to talk about what consistency is. And to me, consistency is something that you do repetitively over and over and over again. You come back to it on a schedule. You do it every day, preferably. And by doing that, you come to this action, whatever it is, whether you really want to do it or not that particular day. That's consistency to me. And what it does is it gives us that supporting structure. It gives us the means to go from where we are to where we want to go. So it paints a picture for us. It creates a mindset. It helps us create the mindset we need to start entering that beautiful, beautiful, expansive universe that's there. That's something more than what our five senses are capable of perceiving and seeing. And we've all experienced that magic, that moment when we break out of our five senses and connect in some way with the greater universe beyond us, that greater intelligence, uh, God, if you will, whatever it is that is out beyond us, that all this amazing amount of information that is flowing all around us at any moment. So consistency is controversial and you, you see and I've seen the quotes that say consistency is like a death knell of creativity. Uh, consistency um, kills spontaneity. All of those sort of things. And, and I really disagree with that assessment of consistency. Or maybe they're looking at a different type of consistency. But consistency, in the way that I'm talking about it, is a liberating structure that helps us achieve what we want to achieve. Now, in, in the article that accompanies this video, and I'll, I'll link to it below in the show notes, I talk about some of the things that help us maintain or be consistent. One of them is that we need to be clear on why we're doing it. If we're not clear, then it's really hard to come back, especially on a day when we don't feel like it, we're feeling a little sick or something, and we don't feel like saying our five affirmations for the day or writing in our gratitude journal of whatever the practice happens to be. The next one is that to understand that consistency trumps intensity. It's not about how intense you are. It's about how consistent. Because if you think about intensity, intensity wanes. So you look at a lot of things that, especially look at New Year's resolutions, and, and people make New Year's resolutions, and they go at it like crazy, and it, they're totally committed to this thing, and by Tuesday, it's kind of gone. Intensity is good to get the momentum going, but it won't keep you going over the distance, the distance that you need to change that mindset, to change your conditions. So always consistency trumps intensity. The other one is getting back up off your horse. So we all get thrown from our horse. Life it happens to us. It's all around us. Bad things happen. We may not have a chance to do our practice. We may have been hit with a sudden death in the family or some other crisis is going on in our lives and we just can't get to our schedule that day. But what is important is that as soon as we possibly can, we get back on the horse. And, and you know that. You fall off your bike, you get back on and ride again. That's the important thing of about consistency is that we are all human and we are going to fall from grace occasionally and so we come back and get right back on and into our consistent pattern of doing things. And finally there's ignoring the doubting Thomas in our head. 
And again, we all get those voices that tell us that we're not capable, we're not good enough, uh, uh, it's not something that we personally can do, uh, we're not meant to be um, doing something or creating something or running a big business or what, whatever it is, the, the voices will continue. They are going to continue. And while we work on changing our mindset, it's just ignoring those voices to acknowledge they're there. We don't want to fight with them, but they're there. But we come back and do our work anyway. So that's what's in, um, in the article. Now, one of the power th powerful things about consistency is time and place. And that is that you have a time and a place where you do whatever it is your practice is for. So that builds an energy around that space. So if you have a space where you meditate every morning, you build an energy, you build a, um, um, a, a ritual around what you're doing. And, and building a ritual around your consistency really helps you um, stay consistent day in and day out. So what is it that, that consistency does? We can't change everything overnight. If we have a negative mindset, we need to work on changing our negative mindset. And that might mean doing uh, some work on affirmations, which is one of the things that I'm really big on. And affirmations to me is the entry level of restoring our mindset to a more positive state. So those affirmations train our mind to believe in a more positive uh, outcome, a more positive circumstance, a more positive life. Those, those are the things that we want to do with consistency. And when you look at, for instance, the power of consistency is, is there are all kinds of examples in history, but one of them is Buddha. Buddha meditated night and day for years and years and years. He was consistent in his meditation. If he hadn't been, he would never have made it to that state of freedom, to, to liberation, to enlightenment. He achieved enlightenment by being remarkably consistent in one thing, and that was his meditation. And it works the same for all of us, that these little steps lead to huge outcomes. So having a consistent habit, being consistent, is liberating. That's my contention. That it liberates us to move out of this narrow five senses universe and to be able to explore all the mass of energy that's flowing around us. And energy is information. And that information is available to us. And it's in that quantum field where all possibilities are available to us. And we don't get to see those possibilities to rediscover them if we remain mired in our negative mindset. And being a sort of vigilante, if you want, and off chasing things here and there and everywhere doesn't really get you moving in the direction of your dreams, in the direction of your goals, whatever you want, whatever is making you feel unfulfilled at the moment, uncomfortable at the moment, whatever that is that you're trying to change, whatever that is you are seeking, in your life, then consistency is the tool that creates the transformation. And my own story is about consistency. Before 2006, I was the most inconsistent person you probably have ever met. I chase one thing that way, uh, off on another tangent the other day, off on another one. I was a victim to circumstances. So really the universe happened to me. I felt like 
I couldn't get ahead. I wouldn't be allowed to get ahead because the universe would always come in and stomp on me uh, just when I thought I was getting a breakthrough or something like that. And it wasn't until <clears throat> 2006 when I really, really, really understood what my purpose was and my why that I began to get consistent, which is why I made that the number one tip on, in the article is that getting clear on our why is so important. And for me, that was to discover that my purpose, and I've talked about it before, is to, to inspire people to rediscover their unlimited purpose, their, un, uh, their unlimited potential. And, and because I had a, a realization and, and I went back, I literally moved back in time to a place when I was 10 years old and I was waking up and it was like the first two or three days after uh, summer holidays started and it was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful morning, hence beautiful summer morning. When I was laying there and listening to the noises going on and around the house and the birds singing and, and I actually came fully into the moment and I had a realization that that day, that particular day was mine to create. At 10 years old, I had that insight that I would decide my decisions would create my world. And it was a liberating and amazing and powerful moment for that 10-year-old boy. But it got buried. The daily routines of life, the things that were going on, the interruptions, the, the, uh, all the things that go on growing up and all the turmoil and so on that comes from growing up, that realization got buried. And in 2006, I rediscovered that awareness that I had when I was 10 years old. And from there on in began my consistency, my goal to reach out and achieve that or those unlimited potentials. To be able to create my life, not be pushed by the winds of fate back and forth. And, and so now, after all those years of consistency, the change from being a victim to being a victor to being the creator of my life rather than the victim of circumstances is magical. And that possibility is open to all of us if we embrace consistency and if we really really determine our why we will make the breakthroughs that we need to transform our lives to to live that life of purpose that life of reward the life of giving the the life of excitement adventure and the sense of wonder and awe that is part of what living is all about, that it should be our daily, daily feeling of that awe, that, that inspiration, the amazing sense of power and compassion and love that ignites our world every day. So that's why consistency is important to you. I hope that you've answered the question in a positive way, but if not, that's entirely up to you. That's not within my control. But I hope that you now understand why consistency is so important and that you realize that as a human you're going to fall off that wagon every once in a while, but you get back on. You, you ignore the voices in your head and you continue to plow forward with help get a coach, get somebody to help you design a practice that's going to fit for what you need to achieve and use that consistency as the structure that moves you from where you are to where you want to go. Okay? And, as always, I really ask you to dream big.
dream magnificently and live inspired. Thank you. Hi, Nick Grimshaw here and welcome to our channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Doing those things really help us track better with YouTube. And if you're interested, click the notification button for notification when we upload a new video. Thank you so much for doing that. Have a good day.